In 2020, the new coronavirus has spread worldwide and has reminded people of the threat posed by viruses and bacteria. It has highlighted the need for greater infection control through every facet of daily life. Disinfection using ultraviolet light is now drawing increased attention, as it is capable of rendering viruses and bacteria inactive. The advantage of using UV light is that it is effective against various pathogenic microorganisms. How it differs from disinfectant is that there is no need to wipe up or clean it after use, and bacteria do not develop resistance to it. Light is divided up into infrared, visible, and ultraviolet depending on the wavelength. UV light has a wavelength of 10 to 400 nanometers and is not visible to the naked eye. Deep ultraviolet, or UVC, spans from 100 to 280 nanometers and does not reach the Earth's surface. It provides a wide range of functions including disinfection, decomposition of organic matter, and sensing. Bacteria and viruses are lurking everywhere in our daily lives, in the air and on the surface of objects. By touching areas that so many others have touched, bacteria and viruses may further spread, which can lead to even more infections. However, by irradiating UV to these areas, the air and the surface of the objects can be disinfected, which lead to limiting the risk of infection. UV light acts directly on the DNA and RNA of viruses and bacteria and alters their structure. When DNA or RNA absorbs UV light, it loses its ability to make copies and are no longer capable of proliferation. In this way, the risk of infection can be reduced. This graph illustrates the UV sensitivity of DNA and RNA. The higher the UV sensitivity, the greater the damage received from UV, and that means they are inactivated easier. The peak UV sensitivity is at wavelengths around 265 nanometers, where the bactericidal effects are higher than other wavelengths. Stanley Electric has developed and produced LEDs that generate light with a peak wavelength of 265 nanometers. Evaluation tests were conducted with Yamaguchi University to verify the inactivation effects of 265 nanometer UVC against the new coronavirus, and the test results showed a high level of effectiveness. When comparing the effectiveness at different wavelengths, the 265 nanometer LED was found to be 1.8 times superior to 280 nanometer LED. The disinfection effect of UV can be calculated by multiplying the UV irradiation by the irradiation time. When 265 nanometer UVC is used, it takes 6.4 seconds at a distance of 10 centimeters, around 3 minutes at 50 centimeters, and around 11 minutes at 1 meter to inactivate 99% of the new coronavirus. And in addition to the new coronavirus, inactivation by UV light has been verified to be effective against other viruses and bacteria as well. UVC disinfection is also effective for water, and this method is already in use today. There is a growing demand for water disinfection as water shortages and pollution continue to occur around the world, and disinfection using UVC is expected to increase into the future. In today's post-corona world, we understand that there is the risk of infection in areas where many people gather or from the objects they touch. UV provides solutions in so many areas if you are seeking a safe and secure lifestyle by taking every little step to lower the risk of bacterial and viral infections and playing a role to reduce the strain on medical centers that are overworked with combating such infections. Stanley Electric has launched the Alnuv brand of UV products that have been developed to provide disinfecting solutions based on specific types of light sources. Building on the technology developed for automotive headlamps and lighting equipment, Stanley Electric will continue to offer a safe environment through the most efficient UV light.